So now I wanted to introduce you after your website, I want to introduce you to what Chime can offer. Um, and so this is a presentation about what Chime can offer here. And so uh, this is Chime and the 360 marketing that we can offer you as your broker. So I'm gonna open this up for you guys. Give me a second here. And so Chime's more than just digital marketing. A lot of people think that we have digital marketing services of Facebook and Google. We're much more than that. We do a lot more than that. So I wanna express to you all that Chime can do. In short terms, 360 marketing is marketing through mixed mixed marketing uh, messages with a consistent message about your business, with branding, and that you guys utilize all those mixed marketing uh, assets. And so we'll walk through different forms of marketing today that you guys can utilize through Chime. Yeah, we, we try not to do only market data because I think that um, if they're in the mode to buy or sell, they care. But what about those seven years in between on average people move? Well, I think it's even five years now, but still, how do I say relevant in their life for the next five years before they buy or sell so that they reach out to me when it's time? And so for us, it's, you know, on our consumer stuff, it's very localized, you know, here, yes, there maybe it's a little bit of real estate. We're live into the Facebook community. Welcome back, everyone. Today, I've got my friend Chris Gonzalez. He works at Chime. He's the client marketing manager or digital client marketing manager. We're going to be talking about all of the great things that Chime has. I don't think that we've ever done a webinar like this that dives into all of the strong aspects of what Chime has to offer. We're currently a Chime user. And obviously, they're one of the sponsors here at Lab Code Agents. But the reason I'm still with them as a real estate team is because of all of the tools they have that function really well for our team. So, Chris, welcome back. Tell me what you got, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. So, yeah, to start, um, I help our, our clients on the platform run Facebook and, and Google and Bing and YouTube marketing. And we also advise them on our other campaign sections of how they can really use our tools to market for their business, how they can really lift their own brand strength. So today I'm gonna to start with the, the website portion. Just as you get a website with Chime out of the box, what do you do, right? So you get a website out of the box and I'm sharing my screen now and hopefully you guys can see. Uh, and so this is our demo account. Okay. So first, when you get your, you know, you get to your website, you're looking at everything you can do. You want to make sure it's complete with information and you want to make sure it speaks to the neighborhoods. So you want to add your neighborhoods within. You want to add even your micro neighborhoods, because when you're adding those micro neighborhoods, think about a brand like Zillow, who's national, Realtor.com. They can't focus at a micro level like you can. They're thinking nationally. So they, when they think Phoenix, they think Phoenix as, and that's it. Maybe Scottsdale. You live in Phoenix, you think Tempe, Arcadia. Uh, Paradise Valley, Chandler, Mesa. You have a lot more communities within the Phoenix area. Chris, so I have a question on that. that on that one really yeah. quick. Only for for because I want to know if you dive into this hover over Scottsdale. Yes. Like what happens if you click on one of those? I want to see what that looks like. So this goes to one of our neighborhood pages. So let's uh -huh. click North Scottsdale and okay. see how they created this. Um, these again, this is demo, so some of this info may be incomplete. But you can drop a video here. That's what the videos uh, are saying here. And then down below, it'll auto highlight that Northern Scottsdale neighborhood as you Got build it. these neighborhoods. Uh -huh. uh, and then it'll populate some information for you. So that way you can take your hands off the wheel and punch in the neighborhood and it pre-populates that neighborhood data and any other data that it can. So all so of this information... Does mm -hmm. this does this help for SEO now that we created a separate micro area? Yes, they do create because SEO actually is a lot more than just keywords. 
And, and this is a great time to bring this up because a lot of people talk about SEO. Well, keywords are built from URLs, titles of pages, and descriptions within the page, usually the first paragraph. Also, you can add keywords. Our sites out of the box come with keywords built in. They also have really, really strong URLs. If you see here, Northern hyphen, hyphen Scottsdale. So Google can index that. They can also index that information coming in on their website because they have welcome to Northern Scottsdale. Our local agent will provide you a professional market report and accurate local info. So that information is being indexed by Google automatically. So the more that you create content on your website with good titles, good headlines, and good descriptions with keywords about what that page or content is about, you will build your own SEO. And if you do this well, you won't need to hire out. So um, just remember that. I like so that. yeah, um, make sure that you fill your neighborhood pages. Make sure that your content is in here that, and is relevant. Make sure you add content about yourself and about your brokerage and make sure you uh, add all your reviews. The first thing I do when I go vet somebody is I go look at reviews. How did they treat their customers, right? And that's a, a lot of people's buying process, whether you're buying a car, a house, or clothes, or, or whatever it is. You know, you're going to vet that business and make sure that it meets uh, your satisfactory skills, right? So make sure your content's there and that people can go and look at what peers say about you and how that you've treated their business, as well as loading that information about yourself, your tenure, uh, things you like to do for in your community, around your community, um, and, and really complete your website. So on top of that, we, we know that in the US, there's a lot of other language speaking uh, uh, citizens here and or non-citizens, right? And so we have this beautiful language widget that's up here. Um, and so if you have Spanish speakers, make sure that you ask about our widget through support and get yourself our Spanish speaking widget or any other language that your team can handle. When you do this, and I'll go to the homepage to do it just so you guys can see this content. When you do this and click Spanish, it will turn all the content on your page into Spanish for you. And because people see this, now those users can come to your site and you have a multilingual site. Unfortunately, our AI is only in English currently, but still your site can, can uh, meet the hearts of people that speak other languages within our communities and within your community. Um, so make sure if you have agents that can speak those languages, you ask about that. So first and foremost, really just fill out the content on your website. And with our sites out of the box, they're relatively easy to use. And so this is our site editor and you can drag and drop. So this morning I went in and made sure this mortgage calculator was present and you can drag and drop it. So if you see here, there's no mortgage calculator on the site. I'm gonna go ahead and jump back to my editor, hit publish. And now I'm going to refresh my site. The mortgage calculator is now in the buying section of the site. It's that easy to publish something. Um, so it's, it's relatively easy to update your content throughout the week, throughout any days that you're sitting down and you need to add something. And so I wanted to also add how easy it is to drag and drop content, pre-built content on our site for you as you're building out your website to make sure that it's a beautiful resume for your business and for yourself. So we have all these page templates that yeah. are pre-built. So whether it's a listing or a snapshot mm -hmm. or a home evaluation page or reviews page, these are all pre-built for you. Featured areas like those Scottsdale neighborhoods that I showed you guys. Okay. Um, and Question then we also the, have- On the reviews one, well, if you were to click on the reviews one, how do we, does it connect to Google reviews or Zillow? What does it connect to automatically? Great, great, great question. Um, and so prior to about a few weeks ago, it was Zillow reviews or you had to update uh, your reviews manually. You could add them. But now we have a Google My Business connection, which allows us to import your Google My Business reviews, which all of you should have if you're a real estate agent or brokerage, you should sign up for Google My Business today. The reason is Google will index your business. And if I search on a map, real estate agents near me or brokerages near me, it will populate your business once you register it with Google correctly. So uh, advice there, everyone go get a Google My Business account. 
And if your brokerage has one, your brokerage can add you as an agent to their Google My Business account so that you show up on their portfolio. I love that. And yeah. then we can import those reviews, like you asked, on the website from directly from Google. Does that so, also serve for SEO on your website or does it still lead people to the Google review site on Google? Be, you know? Because it's importing, I believe it's going to be more of an embed uh, way of importing. So that data uh, won't necessarily live on our site. It lives on Google. So it doesn't add the SEO portion like a general page or content would be on your site, I believe. But don't quote me on that because I may be mistaken. If we right. import that data and host that data, then serve it. Yes, it would help your SEO. I love it. Look, and if you have any questions, throw it into the Q&A, please. I know Rory, he said, he's asking you a question, Chris. What's the difference between keywords and descriptions? You were going over a little bit of that earlier. Yeah, so I'll show you. Let's go ahead and show you. So I'm going to make a blank page and hit next. And so if you see here, this is how you set up a page. And you want to set up that URL slug like I talked about, Scottsdale Homes, whatnot. You want it to be a very strong URL for your page, right? That's the start. Then from there, we have an SEO box when you're building pages built in. So by default, we're already taking your creator name and your title and your company name and putting it in to the metadata. You can go in and add keywords, buyer tricks and tips. And you can start adding extra keywords for whatever that page is going to be. And that will index and strengthen your page. Now the description right here is something that Google also indexes. And you can see here how we have it pre-built into the SEO already on your page as you build it. And you can add to that into the description. And that way our sites are already ranking through SEO, but you can go in and create some hyper-local keywords and or reasons that this page is even active and add those and strengthen that page in your overall site. So, and this takes time. So don't think this happens overnight. This is gonna happen over a few months, if not years of you adding content to your site and generating traffic. But this is the start here is that this is built in our websites and makes it very easy for you to access. I like that, man. Thank you for, for that. And how easy is it to connect the Google reviews and, and or the Zillow reviews? Is it pretty easy it, to click of a button or? It is easy. And so in our reviews block, which I'm going to drag in here, um, so this is a blank page I made, right? And so I want to go over all the blocks. You asked about the reviews block. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and see if I can find our reviews block. And again, I don't have a Google My Business account. So I'm just going to put the block and show you guys where that goes. Uh, I don't believe it's connected on this. But say you wanted this more uh, pretty version of reviews. Yeah. Let's drag this over, drop it in. And when you click edit, which every one of our blocks has an edit button in the top right portion of these blocks, you're going to click edit and you're going to scroll down to review source. And you can now choose Zillow or Google for the review source and it will pre-populate -pre those reviews for you. So Zillow has been there, um, but now you can choose Google My Business. And if you don't have it connected, you can connect it and then choose that and import all of those reviews from Google. So. And then you can use them in multiple areas on your site. Say you wanted your Zillow reviews on your homepage and you wanted uh, two separate blocks for Zillow and Google reviews on a reviews page. You could do that. Easy. So we add that block here. And remember, it's all blocks. We have a bunch of pre-built templates. Say you wanted an agent template, uh, an agent block, you know, about yourself. You can look for one that, that you know, meets your eye, drag that block over and you're now populating your page with your information. This pulls from your information under your agent profile in our websites and automatically imports. Now you have a direct connection to yourself or any of your agents, their social feeds, some reviews underneath, and then you can scroll down and even add some content. And it makes it really easy for you to really build out these pages in a quick way. And again, this content may not be yours, go ahead and click and you can edit what this content says really easily. So real quick, five minutes, not even five minutes. I just built out, you know, content on a page with the reviews and my face. And then I can even add a contact block. 
um, you know, some sort of way that they can see how to actually make contact to me. So, which is my phone number, email, even a map where my business is located. So um, I advise everyone to go through all these blocks and see the power of what, you know, these things and their pre-built templates within can do. Um, but we can do quite a lot with these blocks, including even adding full screen videos, which I know a lot of clients have asked us in the past. Can we put these on our website? Yes, we can. And it's very easy. Um, all you need is the URL for the video and you can drop that in. Um, I dropped in the wrong block there. So I'll show you guys real quick here. Here's our videos block. Mm -hmm. Here's a full screen block and we could drop it in. And when you go to add the video content, it will take a URL from YouTube or your own file. So it's that easy to add content to your website. And you can also play live videos from YouTube into here. So I remember we we streamed a, a couple before, which is great. That was the that was the block I just dropped on accident was the live streaming block. So yes, yeah, you can stream live content as well. So again, your website, treat it like your digital resume. This is where people come and, and learn about your business. So make sure your website, your LinkedIn, your business's social assets like Facebook page, Instagram page, and any other place your business lives, make sure it's up to date with content and has that strength of any resume that you would be proud of as a brokerage. And, and that way people, as they come in, they will feel that. They'll have information, they'll feel that your website's complete uh, and you'll increase the chances of conversion. All right, a question From about different different websites within chime or the chime community it's from kristen she says i have a question about the cities i have two websites one i was allowed to change the city data and now i can't as i'm setting up my second brokerage do you have any any light on that that's very specific so uh, i would really want you to use our chat which is a new feature on the websites and what you'll do is go into the top right portion of your CRM here, and all of you guys can see this, we now have live chat support. So make sure you guys use that. In this specific example, I'd love to be able to answer that for you, but we usually need to walk through that with uh, visual sharing to see what exactly is not working, and, and we can address that through our support teams. But yes, uh, please reach out to them. They Through chat, they can get, get to you right away, and through email support, it's usually within about an hour you'll hear from them. So they have an SLA of under an hour. So um, average is like 45 minutes, but yes, please rely on them and they'll help you resolve that quickly. And that goes for anything on the websites, the CRM um, out there. If you need immediate contact, please use that chat support. Um, our team is ready for you guys, you know, pretty much seven days a week during business hours. So. I like that, dude. And there's also, um, a, um, there's also a help center there for the a learning center. Sorry, a learning center that I love. Yep. And there's the show me how feature. And so the show me how is a visual overlay. So if you're trying to add an agent, you can just click add an agent and it will walk you through the screen navigation for you. And so you don't have to watch a video and remember things. It does it live for you. So I click there, I click on agent, and now it tells me to click add a member. And that's how you add an agent. So we have a digital sort of assistant to help you live on your site navigate through with the screen overlays on where to click so remember that you guys have that tool as well super powerful in learning the crm i've been here a little over a year and i learned something new all the time still with our crm it's very powerful so now i wanted to introduce you after your website i want to introduce you to what chime can offer um and so this is a presentation about what chime can offer here and so uh, this is Chime and the 360 marketing that we can offer you as your brokerage. So I'm going to open this up for you guys. Give me a second here. And so Chime's more than just digital marketing. A lot of people think that we have digital marketing services, uh, Facebook and Google. We're much more than that. We do a lot more than that. So I want to express to you all that Chime can do. In short terms, 360 marketing is marketing through mixed mixed marketing uh, messages with a consistent message about your business, with branding, and that you guys utilize all those mixed marketing uh, assets. And so we'll walk through different forms of marketing today that you guys can utilize through Chime. And so here, here's what we have to offer. And this isn't everything. 
So first off, Chime, if you come in, you have no leads. You don't know where to get started, right? You have no leads in your system. We have a geo farming system that we can farm a list, a CSV list for you based on your community. So if you need 500 leads today to start, because you just moved from Florida to Phoenix, and now you're starting fresh, we can get you that 500 list, that CSV list at a pretty low cost. And then we can also include postcards and newsletters with that service. We have different packages for that, and I'll walk through that here in a minute. We have different types of postcards as well. Some of those include just sold, just listed, some branding postcards, and some informational content, um, as well as uh, on those newsletters. We now have a Social Studio on Chime and Social Studio Pro version. This is a, a social, social hub for you to post to all your social platforms and not have to pick up your phone and log into every single unique platform and post individually. A lot of you guys using uh, companies like this will know the term Hootsuite. Hootsuite is one of the largest social posters and auto posters. So we built that now in Chime. It's being worked on daily and weekly to get updates to where we can exceed that competition of Ho Hootsuite. But we do have a version now that you can auto post directly to four social platforms. And you can monitor the traffic engaging with those posts and how many leads come in from them. And we'll talk about that and how that can even be tied in with digital marketing. The CMA tool, which is new, and it's one of our most adopted tools. If you haven't started using it, I suggest everyone use it. It's $20. It's uh, just like your cloud CMA, but now within Chime. And if you spend a certain amount with this on lead gen, we include both social suite and CMA tool if you're spending $900 or more on digital marketing, which means we're gonna give you more tools with that larger budget to make sure that you can automate everything you can to really create a nice network of marketing. Within that, Chime also has smart plans. Smart plans are much more than just drip plans, much more than just email plans. And I'll explain that in a quick slide. We also have our AI assistant and we have our Chime paid AI, which comes with all paid digital services. So if you pay $300 for Facebook campaigns or $600 for Google with us, you will get the AI to work those leads as they come in. And it is unlimited for those paid leads. There's no limit versus our packages for AIs have some limitations. Then at the bottom of that, right, we have all of our digital marketing services. We now have Google and Google LSA with that Google My Business connection. We are running on Bing, which highlight there, Bing is a much older uh, demographic. A lot of young users don't even know what Bing is. Uh, but with that older demographic comes the income. Uh, usually there's families built at the 40 plus demographic. And these people are looking for homes to reside in. And they may have that buying power more so than that younger demographic. So just think about that when you're advertising Google and Bing. Uh, we have our automated Facebook listing promotions in the system that start at $99. It's an easy way for you to promote a listing and you can generate traffic directly to that listing from your community on Facebook. Those are self-service in our platform. Uh, very easy to use. Again, if you have any questions with it, you can always reach out and have our digital marketing team reach out to you and answer those questions for you. We also have Facebook buyer and seller video branding campaigns. And we can utilize that branding video and I'll explain how later. Uh, and then we have our Facebook dynamic catalog campaigns that can we be used for both cold acquisition and retargeting. And there's reasons for using them in both aspects. We also have Facebook retargeting, which is your warm audience and remarketing, which is already leads that are in your database and how we re-engage them through digital marketing. We also have YouTube video traffic. Uh, we've even tested out TikTok. Um, and, and so we can do some other forms of branding for you. So you guys know YouTube is a form of, of Google and we can drive directly to your website, a listings page, a buyer informational page, or even your YouTube channel if you're trying to grow your channel and be more of an informational provider. So there's different forms of YouTube branding we can do there. So I'll walk through. Real quick snapshot and highlight points of our GeoFarm service. Uh, we can get you a farm list within your neighborhood pretty quickly. And then we can start sending out postcards and newsletters to those people. Not only that, our smart plans can trigger postcards and newsletters. And it'll, it'll fall under that pay-per-use pricing. 
but you can trigger your smart plans to start sending postcards to anyone you've closed with already uh, and send out happy anniversary postcards. And you can do that through a smart plan and it will automatically send to anyone that you close with. So pretty cool features here. Uh, if you record birthdays from any of your leads, we can send out birthday cards to those people as well through a smart plan. And there's a litany of other ways you could use that. Um, but yeah, our postcard service, uh, which is a great service and people still use that. Um, you know, it got me to refinance my home, great getting my postcard from, from my lender. So just remember they work. Um, they're not as old and dinosaur as some people might assume. So, um, but they work for guys like me. I'm over 40. So Social Studio, Social Studio Pro, it now connects, uh, we now can connect your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and you can send out posts uh, to those platforms directly from the CRM, making it easy for you to manage those posts and not have to log into those four platforms. And we have some pre-built templates even for you guys to use. The template types are either listings, you know, a listing post where it shows and highlights a particular listing. Maybe you want to share your blog post on your social. Maybe you want to share a, a buyer informational landing page you just created on your social. You can do that through Social Suite. Uh, maybe even a holiday post that you want to just generate content. And then we have custom posts. And so uh, we have some templates for you and the ability to auto, uh, the ability for you guys to post those. And with our pro version, it will auto post your listings. So what that means is let's say Tristan has listings that he's signing contracts for today and the MLS posts those listings tomorrow. Our system will recognize those MLS listings under Tristan's name and can auto post them to his social media without him lifting a finger. Meaning if you get 12 to 24 listings a year, he has 12 to 24 auto posts on all four of his social platforms for him generating content without lifting a finger. That comes with our Social Studio Pro. So automated posting. Say Tristan wanted to not only post his listings, but he wanted to post team listings. He could do that as well and have that auto post. So really, really strong here. And there's different listing types that it'll post. One of them is new listing, open house, price reduced, under contract, sold, and back on market. So there's a couple different templates. So, uh, and then there are unlimited scheduled posts. So say, Tristan, you want to sit down on a Saturday and, put, and generate 12 different posts for the next quarter. You can sit down and schedule those out on a calendar um, in our CRM, and those will auto post for you throughout that quarter, leaving it to where you can, again, take your hands off the wheel and you can focus on your customer service and closing. So really strong with our social studio. Um, next, I wanted to talk about CMA, which is, you know, newer for us at Chime. I believe it's approaching a little over six months old. Um, but this tool is, is highly adopted by users. It's, you can customize these based on listings for buyers and or sellers, whichever way you want to go about it. Maybe a buyer wants to know, uh, competitively where other homes are in the market and you use it for them also. But generally these are thought of as, you know, a seller presentation, right? but you can use it in both ways. So don't limit yourself. We also have a new template here called present yourself where you can quickly create a PDF about your brokerage or yourself as an agent that you can share with individuals at let's say open houses and you can win them over with your services. So the present yourself is building marketing tools for yourself that you can share and you can generate PDFs or share them digitally. Really strong asset here within our CMA. And I advise everyone to use it. It's another form of marketing. So smart plans. There's a lot of things smart plans can do. Uh, smart plans. Uh, we have a library over 50 smart plans that you guys can import and use automatically. Uh, the smart plans include open rates. So you guys can see the effectivity of those smart plans. And we also include some birthday and anniversary drips in there. So you guys can set up some more fun ones to remind your already uh, current leads. Uh, out of all these features, there's one I missed uh, that's big that everyone uses is Zapier. Almost everyone who's a real estate agent knows who Zapier is because they're importing data to and fro. And we can now use Zapier through smart plans, through groups of people, you know, however you want to, you know, zap information to whatever other systems that we connect with. 
Zapier has a whole list of, of other softwares that we integrate with. But the fact that we can do that with smart plans now opens up a whole new world of data transfer for you guys. Um, so again, smart plans can be used for postcards, newsletters, auto texting, auto emails, sending yourself tasks, uh, even AI assistant actions. Uh, you can change groups, pipelines, wow. add and remove tags. You can apply blanket property alerts for different neighborhoods to certain groups, even transaction checklists. And you can even trigger other smart plans. As well as, and I've seen some agents do this, I'm going to give a shout out to Corey for this one, uh, Corey Prince, that you can drop a sly broadcast when someone requests a showing that, set in that makes them think you called them and drop them through a smart plan after they request a showing, hey, I just tried to reach you. And they're going to get a voicemail on their phone that says, hey, I just tried to reach you. I received your showing request. Give me a call as soon as you can. So real, real good way to generate incoming calls, uh, you know, using Sly Broadcast and dropping some voicemail drops in there. And you can do that with your smart plans. And again, thank you, Corey, for that idea. Um, hopefully you don't uh, shun me for that one using that one. So AI Assistant, biggest point for the AI Assistant here, shortening the first time to response. Because that, that, that's the most important thing. Someone searching your site on Google, learning who you are, they register. We want to shorten that time to response. Maybe you don't have time. We have the AI assistant. They will actively engage while they're on the website. And then once the customer becomes a lead, the AI can actively send them text messages and keep engaging to try and qualify those leads for you. We also have some paid, paid packages with the AI assistant. And if you spend anything on digital marketing with us, we include the AI assistant for those paid leads. So really strong feature here uh, that the AI assistant can qualify your leads. It's meant to be backup. So if you can't handle the incoming or your ISA can't handle the incoming, you have that AI, uh, that AI as backup to your business to qualify those leads so that you have immediate response times to those leads and that you can maximize on converting. So that's what that AI is for. So don't treat it as it's going to handle all my leads. You still need to do that. It's a backup for what you can't handle. Um, and it will try and qualify. So really strong tools there. Then we have our Google search campaigns. Um, you know, out of the box, we do have an out of the box search campaigns that we build for you guys with keywords, uh, headlines, descriptions. Uh, and, and then from there, we go and have a consulting call with you and we customize those keywords to your neighborhood. We also build you custom site links that are calls to action, which are down here at the bottom. You see here in this example, this one says lifestyle, lo location, contact to us and residences. Uh, we can build site links around neighborhoods. We can build a get your free home report site link. We can customize these to whatever we want and build a landing page specific to those links and strengthen your PPC campaigns. If you're using a PPC provider now and they have not consulted with you about your local neighborhood keywords, and or how to customize things on these campaigns, they are not doing you justice. So please come talk to us here at Chime. I love it, man. We're, uh, um, we're getting some good questions here. I think that the most important one that we're getting, because we've gotten it a few times is, yeah, how can I get someone to do this all for me? So <laughs> I have some suggestions. Obviously you can hire somebody locally for you that could handle all this, that's your job, or you can get a virtual assistant to do it. Like we have, we have both, uh, but do you have any suggestions? Yeah, yes, sir. Start with uh, inquiring about what our digital marketing team can help you with first. And where because, do we go? Would we go to that, that, that chat there inside of the website? Yeah, you can alert support that you'd like a consulting call with our digital marketing team and we can help you with the social studio. We can help you set that up. That's a part of our job. So anything in your campaign section, that's a part of our job to help you get launched. So if you're having trouble with anything in our campaign section, reach out to support and, and we'll set up that consulting call with you. Be patient with us because we, we do have a lot of clients we work with currently. So we will try and get back to you within a 24 hour time period. I love it, dude. Well, look, we're uh, at the top of the hour. Anything that, that you think is important that top of the 30 minutes, sorry, but anything yeah, um, that you think you missed that you wanted to talk about? 
Yes, sir. Um, so let's jump to the last portion of my slide. You guys can review these decks. I'm going to make this available to the public um, in the next few days. So look out for that possibly being released in our Facebook forum and to where you'll have a deck of what Chime can really offer. Um, but I want to scroll down to how Chime really can make a difference and the strength of Chime. This screen right here, you want to think of your customer journey, not just Chime's marketing customer journey, but all those things you do, whether it's a networking event, you're hosting an open house, you're doing, you know, door knocking. That's a form of marketing, right? All the forms of marketing. Our goal is to take that new cold audience and get them into your CRM, right? That's our main goal. So this is how Chime and the strengths of Chime can help you drive those audiences to your CRM. And then after that point, we can re-engage them through some Facebook retargeting and Instagram retargeting to re-engage them on the platform. And you can also utilize our tools within the CRM that include CMA, smart plans, your home report, which is a new tool, uh, the AI assistant, your auto property alerts once they register. That's a form of a drip campaign. That's a lead generation. So remember that once they become a part of your CRM, there's still more that you have to do. And Chime has the tools to help you do that and help you convert. Chris, I think we should... We should go deeper on some of this on the second one we do. I think maybe going deeper on the Google PPC opportunity, uh, Facebook lead ads, understanding the retargeting, even the seller yeah. ads. I think we could do a lot more and then jump into part of the CMA as well. Yeah, and I'd love to give you guys an example if that's okay real quick here, Tristan. I'll give you a quick example of what we can dive into later. So you guys think of Google and, and, and Bing PPC, right? Is driving traffic to your website. You pay per click. So when they click, they make it to your website. Well, out of those clicks, how many people register, right? And, and you wanna look at how many people are coming into your website. And so I'm gonna give you a quick example here through our demo account, just for food for thought, right? Pretend this is your Google campaign. You got 1200 clicks here. Well, only 135 of them became leads, right? What happens to those other 1,100 people? And that's where Chime comes in, is we can create some retargeting messaging for them once they visit your website and serve them a dynamic Facebook campaign that asks them with a higher intent call to action and captures that audience, then driving them to your CRM. So we can build campaigns that pick up that fall off. And so there's a lot more to this than you guys realize. And we'd love to explain that in a future future webinar. Let's do that. And also just a reminder, this is also for brokerages and teams. So it could be expansion teams. It could be brokerages, multiple offices, not just for single agents. Um, just in case we didn't explain that. Uh, yep. Chris, and, let's, let's dive and, deeper into this one, dude. Yeah, and, and I'd love to... I'd love to show you guys too, just real quick, because the social studios, I'm such a big fan. Remember, as you guys generate social content, we can create an audience on Facebook from your Instagram and Facebook engagers. And so we can now drive the people that are engaging with your Instagram and Facebook page to your, web, to your CRM. Because ask yourself, how am I driving that following to my CRM today? Am I sharing enough links in my social platforms to have them go to my website? Uh, and if you're not, share those links on all your social posts, right? To drive that traffic back to your CRM. But we can also do that with some retargeting through Facebook with the power of their audience builders. So. Love it. All right. We're going to go into this more on our next one. Chris, let's just make this our uh, part two, our next one. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thanks Thank for being you guys. on. Chris, you rocked it, buddy. A lot of great information. Thank you for this. This is recorded. It'll go into our Lab Code Agents YouTube channel. You can play it there by the end of the day. Thanks, Chris. And Thanks, appreciate everybody. your time, everybody. Thank you.